Welcome back to Was a Day. Where Was a Day is Load Runner. A 1983 release from Brutterbund. Running here on the Apple II and Virtual II. By Doug Smith. Going into a little demo mode here. Yeah, this is where uh, all the Loadrunner ports began. This Apple II version. Uh, I took a look at the Macintosh port of this on my uh, series for looking at uh, Macintosh disk images, Mufa Day. But uh, now we're looking at the Waz. So this is the original uncracked retail disk image in Waz format. So let's basically get into it. We've got a joystick uh, connected as well for joystick control. So you can move left and right. You gotta collect all these treasures. And you can uh, blast left with button two and blast uh, right with button one. Important to know. Uh, on my controller, I, I probably could have re reversed the mapping or something like that to make it more intuitive, but on my controller, that's reversed, so. Like, button button one is to the left of button two for me. But, that's the sound level of my life. And uh, once you get all the treasure, uh, you can uh, climb the last ladder to the next level. Yeah, very uh, generous for this era of five men to start. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, development history of this game as well. It's kind of interesting. Uh, started off as a uh, Commodore pet program uh, developed by a high schooler. Uh, and then he was like showing it to the, showing it to his group of friends, uh, kind of like developing it as a game engine. And that group of friends included uh, Doug Smith. Uh, and then they went on to try to copy some other uh, games that they saw, like uh, Donkey Kong. So they made a, a Donkey Kong clone called Kong uh, that also involved uh, kind of like a platforming, two D platforming engine. Apparently some of these were text only, so I'm not sure how successful they were. I probably need to be blasted more. It's hard to talk and blast at the same time. Let's see if I can give these guys a slip. And this also has one of these, which are my most hated load runner feature, because you can also, you know, this is a game where you can entomb yourself, so it's kind of a kind of a claustrophobic, uh, claustrophobic game, because um, you can also entomb the guards, so. A lot of entombment going on. Oh no, oh no, they got me. Okay, the, the other uh, excellent thing about this game is uh, when you die, all your treasure resets, so you gotta do all that again. It'd be a little bit easier uh, if you didn't have to, but uh, then it wouldn't be uh, Load Runner. So we're taking a look at Load Runner here today, where you do have to collect all the treasure again every time you die. Oh no, that was not... so now... Now I'm gonna entomb myself, because I, uh, I forgot my, uh, uh, joystick buttons again. Yeah. I don't know if there's any way to speed up that, uh, wipe transition. Man. You do, I think, I think you fall faster than the guards, so you can use that to your advantage sometimes. I think these are our guards. Okay. Blastin', blastin'. The other thing about blasting that I, I don't like to show off is that, you know, if, uh, if a guard walks into it while you're blasting, 
that'll interrupt your blast, and then uh, it won't succeed, and you will most likely die. Almost got a chance to accidentally show it off there. Okay, I think I, uh, unless one of the guards is carrying treasure, then let's try to get this. Alright, now we've got a complete letter to the top. Oh wait, it, we just go right to the next... Oh, I guess because we're at the top already? That's interesting. I didn't realize that could happen. Uh, but yeah, here we are on level 3. I like, I like that you, you can just kind of chill here if you want. You got your blinking guy. Record scratch. Freeze frame. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. And then, spring into action. But yeah, that, uh, that Kong game was originally developed for a Prime Computer 550 mini computer. So I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about that. This, this is the kind of thing that I kind of like, like to take a look at. What's, what's around emulated for that? Is there something in SimH for that? Probably. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, but then, uh, they ported it from there to VAX, uh, mini computers. Is it in Fortran and Pascal? And then, oh no, so there you got to see the mechanic of they will interrupt your blasting. Uh, but then, yeah, Doug Smith uh, then ported it to... Oh man, that was a bad... Oh no, no, oh no, I could have gone down there. I was trying to, but they got me. It's always like you got one treasure left, that's when they get you. Uh, but yeah, he, he ported it to an Apple II Plus in 65.2 assembly, uh, which then became the core of what uh, his pitch for Load Runner was. He pitched kind of a proto load runner to uh, Burner Bun, which they rejected. And then he did a bunch of QA and uh, improvements. Man, I really should fix that button mapping, but it's too late now. Um, apparently, uh, according to John Romero, uh, Part of that QA testing, he had just a bunch of, like, neighborhood kids. He was, he was like, 22 at the time. A bunch of neighborhood kids uh, playtesting the Proto Load Runner for it. He, he built a, uh, a level editor for it, which was then used to build the levels. Uh, and not only did he build the levels, but also a bunch of, you know, neighborhood kids built levels. Um, they're really coming for me. Okay. Success. Okay. It's got to make a break uh, for it. And uh, some of those levels are what wound up in this uh, in this final game here, uh, this final um, uh, 150 level game, and also some of those kids went on to become level designers for other games, according to John Romero. But yeah, I wonder if any of those uh, proto versions still exist anywhere. I also, kind of wonder about this uh, this 550 mini computer about Vax stuff. I don't know anything about Vax stuff. But it's probably kind of immaterial to Load Runner here. Other than that's where apparently one version of it was. Um. Oh man, I, I messed up my letters, didn't I? Okay. No. No. I still can. I can still pull it back. Yeah. This one you got to think about the letters a little bit, or think about your treasure a little bit. And uh, it's nice that they made this a uh, Birderbond logo. If you look, kind of do. Do a big zoom out. We'll see. Oh, wait. They designed it that way. They planned it. It's a Broderbund level. Alright, let's see. Is that the le Oh, no! <laughs> that was terrible! That was ter- did I- Wait, did I make it? What happened? No, I did not make it. That was wishful thinking on my part. Okay. So, yeah, uh, watch out for the guard spawn. Another load runner pro tip here that I just demonstrated by failing. Um, the guards never really die. They just keep respawning. I'm not sure if there's a, a time limit. Right now. Okay. Let's get this treasure. Oh no. 
Things are going horribly. Okay. Oh man, this is... Okay. Don't know what that other guard is doing, but... Okay. Don't spawn on me. I don't have uh, quite the handle on what the guard AI is <laughs> like. Okay. I also don't think I don't think there's any way you can uh, take uh, fall damage or die from fall damage, which is great because otherwise it would be much harder. Also trying to uh, imagine, you know, what would this look like? Oh no, 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 oh no. Well, we died again there. I think we got a bonus guy right before that at least, but uh, just squandered it. Uh, what, what, what an ASCII version of Load Runner would look like? I'm not sure if there's any uh, surviving uh, screenshots of that. I'm sure there are people who have done ASCII Load Runner in the time since, but what did the original ASCII? What do look like? These, these are the questions that I need answers to. There's also like a kind of a guard corralling technique you need to you can use here. I'm not sure that I'm doing it very well. Oh, whoa, okay. Cutting it close. Cutting it all the way close here. Danger close here in Loadrunner. Let's check out level six. I'm trying to really think, you know, what was the loader report that I played the most? And man, this why do you why do you, why you gotta entomb the treasure? Like that's the thing that gets me. Like I don't want to go get that. Nobody, nobody wants to get all this entombed treasure. Come on, that's just too much work. I also don't know what governs uh, the guards being able to get out or not. Oh, man. But yeah, I don't know if I really played the... Oh, man, I hate, I hate the false fours here. That's the other thing. Like, why can't I get that treasure there? Um, so this might be the last level for me. On this walkthrough. Or not walkthrough, but just, just look at the game, rather. What I'm doing here, I'm not, I'm not doing walkthroughs, I'm just doing looks. It's my out. Like, yeah, I don't want to get... Nobody wants to get that. Can I get it this way? Success! Not what I need to do for that. Anyway. Okay, let's get these. So no, you really gotta get them. That's not a good idea. To fall down there? No, that's not a good idea. Oh, well. Here we are on level six of Load Runner. Uh, 
I'm not sure what happened there. Made a different sound. Oh, maybe I got his treasure like right as uh Oh, nope. Okay. Like that one, I really don't want to get that. Like At a certain point you're just like, I don't like I know I could get it, but eh. Show off our uh, party trick again there, here. Oh no. They got me. Uh, that's uh, going poorly. Like, yeah, this, okay. This, I feel like there's never enough of a relief to really be able to pull off the digging you would need to to get that treasure. Like, what am I missing there? Like, maybe the maybe the oh wow, that was interesting. Um, maybe is there is is there any good strategy that is like dig it down so that a guard can get to it and then let the guard die? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, uh, spitballing here. Oh, he got me right on the ladder. Okay, I didn't, didn't anticipate that. I was, I was thinking about the guy that was on top there. Um, 40,800. Not sure how much uh, further we're going to get here. I see there... Even if I get that, I'd be entombed, so I'm not sure what the best strategy there is. But anyway, I think that's going to be uh, it for me here with uh, Load Runner for Waza Day. And uh, if you've made it this far and you'd like to see uh, more uh, Apple II games, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.